the systemic circulation starts when the blood leaves the left ventricle and leaves the heart and enters the body via the ascending aorta or sometimes called the arch of aorta. Now there are three branches that come off the arch. Left subclavian artery, right brachiocephalic artery, and left common carotid artery. That's the first thing you guys should learn. Left subclavian artery, left common carotid artery, and right brachiocephalic artery. The left subclavian artery continues and right at the armpit becomes the axillary artery and it continues into the biceps area called the brachial artery. At the elbow region, it splits off into the radial artery, which is on the thumb side, and the ulnar artery. Now these two arteries, they kind of connect in the hand and you can kind of see the blood vessels going to the fingertip. This is called the Palmer arch. The right side is identical. Now the only difference between the right and left side of the aortic arch is, if you remember this artery right here, this is the brachiocephalic artery. And on the left side, we have the left subclavian artery that comes off the aortic arch. Now there is a right subclavian artery too, but there's a branch that comes off of the right brachiocephalic artery, which is right here and goes into the neck and that becomes the right common carotid. You remember the left common carotid comes directly off of the aortic arch, whereas the right comes off the brachiocephalic artery. So this is the right brachiocephalic artery. Now after this bifurcation, this becomes the, becomes the right subclavian artery, axillary artery, brachial artery, radial, and ulnar arteries. Now this aortic arch area is in the chest area. So we sometimes call this the thoracic aorta. And it gets down into the belly button area. We call this the abdominal aorta. And the abdominal aorta continues and splits into two sides. This becomes the common iliac artery and you have a internal branch, an external iliac artery. Now there is a inguinal ligament right here, sometimes called the groin area. This inguinal ligament is kind of a division between the iliac artery and where the femoral artery starts. So right below the inguinal ligament, this becomes the femoral artery. We go down into the kneecap area and this becomes the popliteal artery. This is usually posterior behind the knee. So very commonly when you go to the doctor's office and they palpate for that artery, they go behind the knee. It's a uh, deep that divides into tibial artery and there's the posterior fibular artery back here too. I'm not going into too much detail over here, but just want you guys to know the main uh, blood vessels here. So we have a tibial artery and a fibular artery. And same thing on this side. So you can see basically you have a nice little stick figure and if you had to draw this from scratch, you should be able to do it pretty fast. The three branches. One, two, and three. And you kind of get an idea. Hope this helps.